What's up, everybody? I just had a, a big order come in. Uh, pay, uh, come in. Uh, the payment have the payment come through. Wow, can't talk. <clears throat> just had a big order uh, get paid for, so I'm gonna rerun the um, order list one more time so I can drop the uh, the scrolling list in on the side so we have the accurate list for the 2022 break. What's going on, Chris, Vin, Greg, and Chris Hurd? Um, I'm gonna. I'll check what is still unpaid for in one second. Um, we have the Dodger game on in the background. Dodgers making uh, another little comeback again tonight. Yeah, Chris. There we go. <laughs> you're you're the guy whose order just came through. So uh, yeah, I just refreshed the uh, the eBay upload file. So we'll see if that gets captured when it refreshes and. Uh, We'll see if that fills some of the X's in the uh, in the scrolling list before I post it. Has been a. An amazingly poor start to the season for the Mets. Looks like it's going to be a tough year for us. All right, guys, I'm going to drop the list in now that I'm going to drop in what we have that was unpurchased and unpaid for. Sorry about the little delay there. All right, there we go. We have our updated player list there. Let's see. How about the Astro, the Yankees sweeping the Astros? Did they? I didn't. I saw that they were behind a couple times. I didn't realize that they swept the series. Uh, all good on the on the payment. Let's see, Chris. As as a Pirates fan, I'm not sure how to react to the four zero start. I mean, didn't they start pretty hot for like the first month last year? Who did the Pirates play against this th in the uh, opening series? Yeah, I uh, I didn't expect much more from the Mets, honestly. Even uh, you could even see it on opening day that the stadium was not anywhere close to as filled as it usually is on opening day. So you can see that uh, Met fans in general are ready for what's coming this season, most likely. They came from behind in all four games. Yeah, I, I checked a couple times, and I thought I remember seeing them behind in a bunch of games. All right, let me drop in the leftovers for this first break. First lot we have is the auto only firsts. There's 10 total players there for $10. Then the base first list, or the first list that includes base players, there are 16 total spots, and that lot is $30. I split the 
prospect list into AL and NL this week. So we have the AL prospects, which is 14 total players for $7. And we have the NL prospects. which is 11 total spots for $5.50. The AL Leftover Pros, same thing, 11 players for $5.50. And the NL Pros is... 15 spots for 750 and finally we have the rookies so lots of leftovers available for people to pick up tonight lots of X's on the left side so if anybody's interested in, in adding to lots tonight lots available lots of lots available uh, Jackson Trio looked pretty good against the Mets, yeah. Which uh, we'll see. We'll see if everybody looks good against the Mets this year, but definitely a good start for him. Chris taking the AL prospects. You got it, Chris. AL prospects. For anybody who's who's picking up any of these leftover lots, the PayPal Venmo information is in the upper left-hand part of the screen. Um, and let's see. Just to read these off one more time, thank you for sending that payment over, Chris. We have the leftover auto-only spots, which is 10 total players for $10 total. We have the leftover lot of... Uh, firsts that also have base cards. That is 16 total players for $30. The leftover auto only spot includes Adam Mako, Alejandro Hidalgo, Christian Gonzalez, who hit twice last week, Eduardo, Va uh, Eduardo Vaughn, Elijah Cabell, Juan Quan uh, Quancerto, Quancerto. Uh, Larry Ernesto, pa Pablo Allendo, Jason Santana, and Zion Bannister. The leftover first slot includes Anthony Rodriguez, Diego Rincones, Eduardo Lopez, Estevan Machado, Fidel Montero, Fran Aldui, Ian Lu Lewis, uh, Jose Pastrano, Jose Rodriguez, Luca Tresh, Luis Verdugo, Maki Backstrom, Michael Escado, Martin Jimenez, Misael Gonzalez, and Norhe Vera. The leftover AL rookie lot was taken... Why is this freezing? There we go. Got your payment, Chris. Uh, leftover AL lot was taken. Leftover NL prospect lot is Alexander Canario, Brennan Davis, Christian Hernandez, Ed Howard, Jared Pomares, Jay Allen, Luis Salas, Luis Matos, Luis Rodriguez, Malcolm Nunez, and Miguel Amaya. 11 total spots for 550. And I'm not going to read off the entire pros lots, but I'll drop them in one more time. And then the rookies lot is eight spots for $6. That includes Alejo Lopez, Drew Waters, Edward Cabrera, Hoy Park, Lars Newtbar, Matt Manning, Otto Lopez, and Ryan Velade. So if anybody's interested in picking up any other leftover spots, those are the ones that were not purchased on eBay. And let me check to see if there's anything that's left over that hasn't been paid for. And it looks like we are good to go there. So the only thing that's gonna be available is going to be the leftover lots that I dropped into the chat. Besides that, we're gonna get choosing on our boxes and then we're gonna get underway. Matt McLean was claimed. But 
let's see. Looks like not. Looks like no takers there. I'm just gonna reach out to one other press and see if they're interested. going on Zach all right let's choose our boxes well I give everybody one last shot to claim anything if they want the remaining rookies going to Mitch Mitch you got it Mitch just let me know in case your name on here doesn't match your name on eBay uh, the name of a player you purchased on eBay so I can match up your orders uh, and Mitch V grabbing the RC's for six Jack Sawinski. Uh, no, Jack Sawinski was also uh, purchased and paid for. Oh, so Sawinski is not a Mitch guy. Sawinski is just somebody Chris is looking for. Um, all right, so we're, we have here box number one, two, three, four, and five. The first two people to list a single number can choose which of those boxes we're going to open tonight. I caught uh, all of Wyatt Langford's at-bats in his first game on Thursday. Would have been uh, real sweet for him to have picked up that game-winning RBI in his first career game, but... Little ground out to third base. Stop that from happening. Let me know in the chat which one of the six bo or five boxes we're going to open tonight again. So one, two, three, four, and five. Oh, there we go. Had O'Neill Cruz. All right. Mark that down. Oh, I saw I saw that for that home run by Jackson Holiday, Chris. So we have one and three. One and three being open tonight. The rest of these will go back in the stack for one more week. We have the same break running again next next week, so Chance to see what's in these last, or two of these last three boxes next Sunday night. After that, I think I'll probably do some kind of a mixer um, to run the final box. I do have a box of 2022 Bowman Sapphire, so I could run some kind of a Sapphire mixer if you guys are interested in that. All right, and we'll see if uh, Brian joins up, but Brian just grabbed all of the leftover firsts. And let me write that down, and then we'll get underway. Um, as usual, I will mention that the eBay sweepstakes is still going on and drop the link to the eBay sweepstakes into the chat. There it is. What's going on, Jeff? A little bit better of a start to the season for your Braves than for my Mets, as expected. And uh, probably a much more competitive series than the Mets were than the Mets were in, although Brewers should be good. Not quite as challenging, I would expect, as the Phillies in Philly should have been. And you guys 
at least took some games from that one. All right, we're going to get underway. If anybody who just joined is still interested in picking up any lots, we do still have uh, both of the leftover pros lots, the American League and the National League. Dropping those into the chat one more time. There's the American League. There is the National League. And we have the leftover National League prospects lot as well. Everything else has been claimed and paid for. So all of that is in the chat one last time, but we're going to get right underway now. Good luck to everybody. Let's see. I uh, I know Churio had a good first couple games. I think Daryl Ernayaz uh, might have hit a home run or at least had an RBI for the A's in his first series in the majors. Daryl Hernandez in this product, I think went for under $2 tonight. So real nice grab on whoever uh, caught that Hernandez is in the major leagues with a different organization than he appears in on this card and uh, pick that one up. Would be the uh, the perfect time to uh, be flipping some Daryl Hernandez cards. I think... Nelson Velasquez, is he in this product also as a Cubs prospect? Velasquez also in the major leagues, although I think he had some service time last year, but he's in the major leagues with the Royals. I made a full list of all of the prospects who had zero major league experience who, uh, got the call and, uh, and and got their first major league time in, uh, or at least made a major made a really major league roster, I should say. Jared Jones being one of them, got a win in his first game for the Pirates. All right, I'm going to scroll, scroll through all these cards since we ship everything. Slowing down for the Chromes as always. First Chrome card of the break is a Joe Ryan Rookie of the Year favorites. We have a lime green rookie of Aaron Ashby starting off our hits, number 12 of 399 there. And our first autograph is Ricardo Genovese, base Ricardo Genovese. So one on the board in the first pack. Nick York, top 100. Starting off our base chromes, we have Garrett Mitchell, Robert Hassel, Urabel Angeles, Len Lennon Sosa and Jan Kenzie Noel. Noel seems to have dropped off a little bit over the last season. He was a bit more in demand last year, a bit more uh, highly touted of a prospect, it seems. In what is a deep Guardians organization. First auto up, Ricardo Genovese. Sleeving up all of our Chrome first, as always. Happy Easter to everyone also. I don't know. Uh, I wasn't sure if the fact that it was Easter would uh, increase or decrease the amount of people joining the break tonight. But it seems like we have uh, most of our usual crowd here. Let's see. We should have swept, but Sale looked solid today against that solid Philly rotation, too. That was uh, Strider versus uh, Wheeler is a heck of a pitching matchup. Let's see. Ace paid for your six guys from eBay a few minutes ago. No worries about that. Ace, we, uh, we, there were only a couple small orders that were left over, so we left everybody. Didn't resell anything that wasn't paid for, so you're all set. Boy, Harris has come out swinging, calling uh, his first all-star game this year. I can't believe it's only his first all-star game. Uh, Nelson was a 2022 Chrome, says Darren. Chris says we have no lives. Let's make sure that is zoomed, and we'll scroll through the papers. Darren, what does we have no lives mean? We have a Spencer Torkelson, Bowman in 3D insert. Jordan Lawler, high five futures. Vidal Bruan, 
the now Marlin prospect in the top 100, Austin Hendrick, Alexander Vargas. We have a teal coming up. Oh, you guys have no lives. You're here on Easter. <laughs> That's funny. Jeremy Vargas, Arrow Vera, and Andrew Lara, number 63 of 125. The nice pitching prospect from this product. Well, I, I assume everybody has work tomorrow. Uh, so I guess you can't go. Easter isn't a holiday where you can go too crazy. A few nice hits in the first two packs. A nice Andrew Lara teal. A Ricardo Genovese being our first auto. And an Aaron Ashby. Rookie Lime Green. Three hits in two packs. Saw some nice stuff from Oswaldo Cabrera in, uh, in that Yankee series. So maybe Oswaldo will make a little bit of uh, noise again this year. We have an Austin, he Austin Hendrick. Ronnie Mauricio. We have some sirens going on in the background. Let's see if that means a big hit's coming. Jason Dominguez. Hedbert Perez. There we go. Behind the Hedbert Perez, a Christian Roa. There's another Ricardo Genovese. And there's our first Daryl and Ayaz. Jonathan Classe in the back in paper there. So Ernayaz in the Oriole jersey on his first guard, but now an A. I'm trying to remember what the Orioles and the A's traded last year that landed him in uh, Oakland. Let's see. D-backs 3-1 as well. And about to expose the Yankees. I'm looking forward to that, Mab. <laughs> Vin says he knows Chris well and he's telling the truth. All right. We had our first auto in the first row, so let's go across the top row now. We have a Jake Berger Rookie of the Year favorites insert, Yoelki Cespedes, Marco Luciano, J-Rod behind the Marco Luciano, Anthony Rodriguez, Fidel Montero, and there's Jack Sawinski. What is what is uh, Sawinski done in that first series for Pittsburgh? Forgot. Oh, there's a Curtis Mead in the back there. We'll sleeve up the Mead paper. Mead on the board for the first time. J-Rod, Montero, Rodriguez, and Sawinski getting chromes. Was sort of surprised to see the uh, the Royals score eleven today, even though I do have a futures bet on their uh, their wins over. Just glad to see them uh, not go zero and three to start the season. Jaron Duran, rookie of the year favorites. Benny Montgomery, high five futures. Miguel Amaya, top one hundred. Harry Ford, Roberto Hernandez, Will Wagner. Darren Baker. And behind the Darren Baker, if it'll show up, there we have Michael Escato. Edgar Cuero. Nice prospect in there, as, as well as Warming Bernabel. Escato, Wagner, and Baker getting first chrome hits in that one. Let me see. What did I see in the chat that I missed? Darren L. Aces. Um... Glad to hear it. Checking back in 20 to 25 minutes to see how we're, we're looking. We hit a Triantos auto last time. We'll see if we can go back to back with a Triantos auto. Meb needs Luis Gill to have a game tomorrow for uh, D backs fantasy team. Jock setting a. Jock's, Jock hasn't, has a perfect average so far. Of course, we have a Reed Detmer's Rookie of the Year favorites. Why would we not? In our breaks, we have an, uh, is that a wave coming up or a lava? 
Austin Martin, Reginald Preciado, inserts, Shalin Polanco, Pedro Pineda, Averson Ortega getting a chrome hit, Royce, Royce Mark Quintana, and Matt Frazier getting a lava insert, or a lava refractor numbered 199 of 399 chrome lava there. There's another Curtis Mead, two Curtis Mead papers on the board already. Ortega on the board, a nice hit for the Frazier spot. We get that Frazier up there with the Lara and the Genovese, and we'll take down the paper Ashby. Quintana. All right, so autos could be anywhere now. We went across the top row, and we went across the first row where we hit our first autograph. So let's see if we can uh, keep the suspense or if we're going to hit an auto coming up here. One base auto on the board so far, and it's Genovese. We have a J-Rod Bowman in 3D insert. Blaze Jordan High Five Futures. Simeon Woods Richardson. I'm convinced that the, the reason that uh, names are smaller on the back of jerseys this year is because this guy's in the major leagues. Simeon Woods Richardson. The guy I'm blaming for the tiny lettering on the back of jerseys in 2024. Bobby Witt. C.J. Abrams. Adrian Sagasti. Eddie's Leonard, who I saw might get some major league experience this year. I'm trying to remember what team Leonard's with now. I don't think he's with the Dodgers anymore. Is I think it might be the Tigers. And Justice Thompson. Spent a good piece of this week listening to some arm, arm latent podcasts to uh to get myself pumped up and ready for what prospects to be seeing in the possibly in the major leagues this year he's a fan of eddie's leonard dusty's son he is dusty's son and he is on the board let's see if we're gonna have an auto in this row I mean, in this pack, or if it's going to be in the next one. If it is in the next one, we'll save it for the end. We have an Invicta of Kevin Alcantara. We have a Refractor Auto of Trey Sweeney. Nice one to hit there. 229 of 499 Trey Sweeney Auto. Behind that, we have a Michael Bush, top 100. Bush in the majors now for the Cubs. Maximo Acosta, Kevin Alcantara, base chrome. There is our first Sedan Rafaela of the last few boxes. Rafaela on the board behind Rafaela. These things are sitting in packs for a year and getting a little sticky. Diego Rincone is in the back and Victor Labrada. There we go. Victor Labrada behind the Sedan Rafaela. Scrolling through the papers in the back. I saw Rincones again. So Labrada on the board will give a top load to Sedan Rafaela. Believe Rafaela made the major league roster for the Red Sox. Is that correct? Any Red Sox fans out there? Trey Sweeney. There's my thicker top loader. There we go. Trey Sweeney. Got to be the hit of the break so far. Diego Rincones. And let me get out the thicker penny sleeve for the Alcantara and Victor. So we should not have an autograph in this pack since we had the Sweeney out in that row already. Let's see what's going on in the chat. Let's see. Alec Thomas tweaked a hamstring. What happened to um, Royce Lewis? Did he get, Was he seriously injured? I heard he left the first game of the season after hitting a home run. 
We have a Wilman Diaz, Virtuosic, Carlos Colmenares High Five Futures, and Ryan Rollison, top 100. Behind the Rollison, we have a Nick Gonzalez, Adley, Jose Ramos, Brandon Valenzuela, and behind the Valenzuela, we have Luke Waddell. A home run by who? Toyaskar Hernandez. I didn't recognize him in the Dodgers jersey. Let's see, Chris, you said last week he was sweating Gill. Made the right call, it sounds like. Warming in Montgomery played here in Fresno and Goodman prospects. Sounds like uh, you, you and Meb need to talk. Meb is, uh, or at least was our resident uh, Rockies fan until his son got drafted by the D-backs and uh, then became our resident D-backs fan with a, a secondary fanhood of the Rockies. Greg and uh, JG Wynn confirming that uh, the Tigers are the team that has Eddie's Leonard. Rockies should sign Bauer there and afterthought and might draw a record low attendance. I don't know. Meb, did you see the uh, attendance at the Oakland game? It's going to be tough to beat the uh, the A's for record low attendance. Hedbert Perez and Victa. Colton Cowser, top 100. Chrome of Leo Verpaguero, Spencer Torkelson, Jose Rodriguez, Nore Vera, and there's a Jackson Churio. So Churio Chrome on the board for the first time. And there's a James Wood paper in the back. We'll get that one sleeved up. James Wood paper on the board. Jackson Churio Chrome on the board in his first week in the major leagues. I think he w went one for two with an RBI in his major league debut against the Mets. Or maybe it was one for two with a run. Darren saying Jordan Beck crushed. Is SP, SP as in a minor league team location or as in starting pitching? So have I hit any good Mookie bets in the Bowman breaks this year? Uh, no. I think just base that we uh, – I mean – I can't remember when we were breaking this product in 2022 if we hit any nice Mookie bets, but in the two breaks that we've done so far, uh, I can't remember hitting any big Mookie bets cards yet. Jairo Pomares, Virtuosic, Adley, High Five Futures, Yoelki Cespedes, Chrome, Austin Henrik, Chrome, Denzer Guzman. We have a Luis Verdugo, and behind the hiding behind the Denzer Guzman, we have an Alejandro Pa. Paper we have Cuero, and Cuero would be the big name in the back there. Couple Adley Chromes on the board already. Let's see. Darren saying Sedan Rafael, Victor Scott, Trey Lipscomb had some good. Oh, I, I thought I read the Trey Lipscomb went down. I guess I was wrong about that. I I thought I remembered somebody saying last week that Lipscomb made made the major league roster, and then I looked at an article that said it was a tough decision to send him down. I don't know what that article was about then. We have a Marco Luciano. We have another base auto coming up here, and it is Alejandro P.A. I was hoping we were going to see Curtis Mead there. Another Reed Detmers insert. We have a Speckle coming up in the back. We have a Noel V. Marte, 
Tristan Casas, Felix Valerio. Behind the Felix Valerio, Rodolfo Nolasco, and the speckle is Christian Hernandez. Christian Hernandez, number 174 of 299. I believe that Christian Hernandez spot was in the it's on the James Wood paper. It was in the National League leftovers, which I don't think has been claimed yet. So if anybody is interested in picking that up, I will still leave that spot available, even with that Hernandez hit there. The uh, National League prospect spot still on the board. Alejandro Pia is on the board as well in ink. So our autos in box number one, two base, Alejandro Pia and Ricardo Genovese, and Trey Sweeney in a refractor auto to 499. Let's see if we can get some lower numbered color in box number two. All right, let me catch up with the chat now. Let's see. Langford had a good game as well, says Meb. Eric Caro's son Kyle in the Rocky system. I saw that. Uh, did he get a hit or is he a pitcher? Caro's son. I saw that Caro's was at one of his games. And I saw a video of him in the stands after he had done something good. Rick saying, You're a Giants fan. We had somebody steal second. Is that Outman? Or is that Lux? Second box is open. Chris saying 13,000 and change at Hayes opening day. Spring training. SP stands for spring training. Got it. Uh, Senzel broken thumb. So Lipscomb was called up game two. Got it. Okay. That explains it. So I'm not losing I'm not losing my mind that I read an article that said he was sent down, but he got the uh, Got the call up right after that, and the Dodgers doing Dodgers things. Taking the lead with a two-run homer by Max Muncy. Second box is empty. Dodgers, after they made a two-run comeback in the ninth last night, coming from behind again. see pack number one of box number two we started off with an auto right away last time we see see some wander franco right off the bat here and some vidal bruan right off the bat here we have another lime green in the first pack starting off very similar to the last one jordan walker high five futures and the lime green is there we go who was it that asked about nice mookie bets hits let's see who was it who was it Uh, Rich. There you go, Rich. Kyle Carros, third baseman, 21 years old, says Rick. And Rich is getting his Mookie Betts hit number 19 of 399 there on the Mookie Betts. We have a Mick Abel, top 100, Garrett Mitchell, Robert Hassel, Diego Rincones, Jose Ramos, and Brandon Valenzuela. So it looks like we're seeing a pretty similar coalition in both boxes of the firsts. Hopefully we can still sneak an Ellie in here. Congrats, Rick. There you go. Is it going to be one of those nights again where people are making their calls on uh, what hits we pull? few weeks ago i feel like that happened a few times somebody asked for something and we pulled it not long after two ramos on the board two rincones and i don't remember if there's two valenzuelas so no auto yet one pack into the second box we'll go across the top row until we find the first auto Speaking of Lewis Gill, there he is. Another Mookie Betts base. Joe Ryan, Rookie of the Year favorites. Nolan Gorman, top 100. Harry Ford, base chrome. Roberto Hernandez. J. 
Justice Thompson. We have a refractor coming up behind the Felix Valerio. It is a Raquel Vin de Castro, number 236 of 499. Jack Sawinski in paper, Erne Oz, Joshua Baez, Samad Taylor. Some good names there. Valerio Thompson and De Castro, the non-first refractor to four ninety-nine. If any redemptions are pulled, they have to be redeemed tonight. Is that across the board, uh, Darren? I know. Uh, I think we were talking about Triantos last week, and then we pulled the Triantos non-redemption. I guess there were I saw I looked on eBay and I saw that the I saw an atomic redemption Triantos, but we got the refractor non redemption. So I guess some are, some aren't. I'm not sure if it's just the atomics that were. We have a Pedro Pineda Bowman in three D. Jackson Kowar. Back in the majors, rookie of the year favorite here. And it looks like we're gonna have ink, and I believe this might be Roberto Campos. And it is. That is a nice one. Base auto of Roberto Campos. Gunner on the board with the top 100. Leo Vera Paguero, Spencer Torkelson, Christian Roa, Ricardo Genovese, and Blaise Jordan with a lava refractor. 212 out of 399. Another Ramos in the back there. So I'm going to switch the Campos for the Genovese in the in the background display. Nice Blaze Jordan as well there. And a Gunner Henderson will always sleeve up our Gunners. The number 75 prospect as of the beginning of 2022. He uh, jumped up those rankings pretty quickly after that and then jumped up to win the Rookie of the Year. So uh, Baseball America or whoever's doing this top 100 list uh, – Missed, missed the ball on Gunner leading into the 2022 season, I guess. And Jack saying I need to open one of those three other boxes based on what's, what we've seen so far. Meb saying I got a draft black and white redemption back on Holgate. And looked him up, and he was cut last year. <laughs> oh, I did not realize that Holgate got cut. What Holgate? Holgate was in draft, right? He was was he a third rounder? Pretty crazy that they would have cut him already. C.J. Abrams, High Five Futures. Gabriel Montero, Top 100. Another guy that they had ranked pretty low, considering where he is now. Number 83 going into 2022. Yolki Cespedes, Austin Martin. We have a Daryl Arneaz, Will Wagner, Darren Baker. In papers. No huge names there. So, yeah, definitely seeing a very similar collation in these two boxes. Wagner, Baker, and Erne Oz both hitting in both boxes already. I think we hit like a black or, uh, Holgate auto at one point. That uh, I don't remember if we hit that one for you, but it's pumped, pumped when we hit it at the time. Marcelo Mayer, Virtuosic, after we hit an auto of him last week. Gabriel Arias, top 100. Chrome of Blaze Jordan, Benny Montgomery, Michael Escado. Another Sedan Rafaela, continuing our repeats. And Victor Labrada, Rafaela in paper as well. So it's a feast or famine for a lot of the big names so far. One Jackson Churio on the board. No... Ellie's yet after we hit multiple Ellie's in our first 
two breaks over the last two weeks of this product. I think we hit three chrome alleys in the first one. Meb, I love that the uh, the D-backs in there, is it a 13-run inning or a 14-run inning? Did not hit a single home run. Got to love some old-school small ball there. We have a Jaron Duran, Rookie of the Year favorites, Bobby Witt Jr., High Five Futures, Marco Luciano, Chrome, J-Rod, Mendez, Dario Lopez, and Nico Cavada. So a couple guys that we're seeing Chrome for the first time. Maybe that'll change up the collation going forward, or maybe we just have a one-off pack there. J-Rod on the board already, but Cavadas and Lopez, I believe, both hitting for the first time. I think Mendez we had seen on the board already as well. All right, in search of auto number two. First auto on the board was a base Roberto Campos. We got a couple of good names on the board in Inca ready tonight. And uh, no auto onlys yet. We've hit a bunch of auto onlys in the first two breaks we've done of this this year. Zach Veen. We have a purple refractor in the auto spot. Alejandro Hidalgo. So there we go. I say no auto onlys. And Alejandro Hidalgo on the board, number 39 of 250. Pitcher for the Angels, who I don't know anything about. Jordan Belazovic, top 100, Austin Henrik, Alexander Vargas, Luke Waddell, Anthony Rodriguez, and Fidel Montero Chromes, Laura Classe Papers. So we now have an auto only on the board with Hidalgo. I can't remember if Hidalgo was in the auto only lot. I feel like he was. Our lowest numbered auto on the board so far, the purple Hidalgo. Yeah, makes makes you wonder. I'm guessing that refers was referring to why such an early pick in the draft would uh, would get released so early. And then D Back says, "Looks good, Jordan Mont." Uh, D-backs looking good, and Jordan Montgomery is coming too. Yeah, that was a nice nice signing for them. Another one of those, there's a Spencer Strider and an Otani. We'll sleep both of those up. We have a Dominguez Virtuosic and a Yoelki High Five Futures. Looks like we're one strike away from the Dodgers taking another one. Another Adley insert, top 100. Jason Dominguez getting two hits. Hedbert Perez, Jack Sawinski. Adrian Sagasti and Eddie's Leonard. There's a Cleo Watson warming Berna Bell paper. Can Nolan Arenado save the night for the Cardinals? A couple of Dominguez is in there. Mookie bets the shortstop making the game ending play. Leonard, Sagasti, Sawinski, and our, I believe, third Adley insert hit. So a nice night for Adley. Darren, I, I feel good about PFAT being a little bit more consistent this year. He had some nice appearances in uh, the playoffs last year, so I'm sure the confidence will build from that, from getting to the World Series. There's an O'Neill Cruz. We have a Yoelke. We've seen a lot of inserts of Yoelke. Brennan Davis and Brandon Marsh. We have a blue ref uh, paper refractor in the back. 
Maximo Acosta Chrome, Kevin Alcantara, Rodolfo Nolasco, Brady Allen, and Yorbit Viva. So interesting. We're seeing some some of the same collation and some different. We have a George Valera and Oswaldo Cabrera paper. And Michael Triana with the blue paper refractor, numbered to 150, number 68 of 150 for Triana. Vivas and Brady Allen, I believe, both getting on the board for the first time. And Rodolfo Nolasco, I believe, is on the board for the second time. Sleeving up our O'Neill Cruz as well. And one more pack before we get a 50-50 shot at our final auto of the night. So far, we have a base and a purple in the second box. So far, we have three bases, two colors. See if we can get one more color auto before we finish things up tonight. Oh! I'm guessing this is going to be our last auto, and it's on card, Invicta, number to 99. Colson Montgomery getting ink in his first release. I believe his spot went for like $30 tonight, and that is going to be a nice grab for them. Colson Montgomery, Invicta, auto number 89 of 99. That is not where I expected the last auto to be. Noelvi Marte, top 100. Bobby Witt, C.J. Abrams. First of Maki Backstrom, by Brian Bayo, and Robbie Martin. So getting some new names there. Trey Sweeney, Edgar Cuero, another James Wood. So an interesting hit there. Yeah, Darren agreeing that PFAT was great in the postseason. Um, I'm going to have to grab a thicker top loader that I don't have at the table right now to get that Colson Montgomery in. But that uh, that one may contend for hitting hit, or, hit of the break there. I totally forgot that Bayo had base firsts in this, in this product. Nice hit there for Brian Bayo. So let's see. Do we have one more auto, or was that Colson Montgomery the last auto of the break? And also the low number auto of the break, numbered to 99 on the... Invicta Refractor Auto. Gyro Pomares Virtuosic, Luis Matos High Five Futures, and a Volpe Top 100. Again, not doing great with the rankings there. Number 86. Novi Marte, Tristan Casas, Reginald Preciado, Luis Angel Acuna, and Alexander Ramirez. No firsts in that one. Jan Kenzie Noel in paper and final pack of the break tonight we will recap the break after this and then if anybody is here for the uh 2023 break i will be ending this stream and reopening that break in a separate tab are we going to get an extra auto we might have an extra auto here guys that looks like it might be a card in the auto spot let's see i'm going to try and save that till the end uh, let's go like that. We have an Edward Cabrera top 100, Nick Gonzalez and Adley Chrome, Dustin Harris Chrome, Logan Cerny, and Misael Gonzalez, Papers, Valenzuela, Curtis Mead. We have a Luis Rodriguez, that uh, Christian Encarnacion Strand home run. No, did CES hit a walk-off today? All right, final autograph of the break. Oh, I was hoping we were going to get a mead there. Victor Lizarraga. So getting an extra auto, making it a seven-auto break instead of a six-auto break with that Lizarraga base. I'm sure the uh, Colson Montgomery spot is not going to complain about the extra auto. Let's get this stuff sleeved up. Then we'll recap the break before we switch over to 2023 Bowman Draft. First hit of the year is that it was a walk-off home run. 
All right, let's recap the hits from tonight. We have a Victor Lizarraga base auto, Michael Triana, blue paper, Alejandro Hidalgo, purple auto, Sedan Rafaela base, Blaze Jordan, lava refractor, Ricardo Genovese base auto, Raquel Castro refractor, Moogie Betts, lime green paper, Christian Hernandez, speckle the 299, Alejandro P.A. base auto, Jackson Churio and Sedan Rafaela base, Aaron Ashby, rookie lime green, then our hits in the back, the Matt Frazier Lava Refractor, numbered to 399. Andre Lara Aqua, numbered to 125, or teal number to 125, I should say. And then our three auto hits, the Colson Montgomery, Invicta, numbered to 99, the Roberto Campos Base Auto, and the Trace Sweeney Refractor to 499 Auto are uh, our three biggest hits in this one. Three nice, three nice hits coming in ink. He was 0 and 11 until that. All right, guys, I am going to end this stream and I'm going to open up a new stream right after this for the 2023 Bowman draft break. And we will get into that right away. So thank you. Anybody who is not in that break for joining and hope to see you guys back next week. We'll be running the same format next week. And uh, hopefully some more Ellie's in that one.